Sizwe, also known as DJ World Defect, group back representer. Yeah, me, I'm a DJ, that's what I'm known for mostly. And I'm mean also an, an, an aspiring producer and beat maker. Um, what can I say? Um, I'm on the forefront of the, of the group in terms of taking care of everyone and their needs hosting hosting the, the, the projects here um, I guess I guess I, I I recently started working in radio as well as a host but to make that clear distinction with me being a DJ is I play music mm -hmm. um, I play music for myself I play music for my friends I, I play music for for crowds people mm -hmm. that I don't know and people, party people as well. Mm -hmm. And for, for people who like rare music or just listening and having experiences with music more than just dancing and, you know, just having fun and listening to the hippest song. So what I mean is I, I'm in the DJ side of people who would go and look for a new song to introduce to the crowd either than go for a song that the crowd likes and then you know that, that I use that wave to kind of my my snowball in terms of popularity and all mm -hmm. of that well popularity is another thing when it comes to DJ World Defect you know cause mm -hmm. I think that's something that happens naturally you don't have to go for it you know but as a DJ I've taken upon myself to say my responsibility is similar to that of a teacher or a, a mentor or you know someone who, who, who opens your eyes and, and, and opens your mind into another space you know gets you thinking in a different way or think about things from a different angle so when I go out to, to get a record like I said I'm not looking for for something that everybody already is vibing to, you know, I'm, I'm uh -huh. looking for what can be the next thing that someone can vibe to. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to be a group of people. Uh -huh. that, maybe that's another thing that um, sort of distinguishes DJ World Defect from other DJs that I've met as well, you know, and hence even the marketing, you know, we market, it, we market ourselves differently because of that, of how we position ourselves. So me, I'm on, on that tip, you know, so capturing music in a form of a library sense, like if you look around where we are, like there's a lot of records and even the way they put, you know, you can think of a library, how books are, are put, you know, like in shelves and, and yeah, because that's how we archive time, you know what I mean? So the concept that DJ World Defect is that he's chasing time um, when he's on the decks, because that's what you do when you when you want record, you know, um, especially when we are playing analog, you know, like, yeah, because now the the mediums are, are wide and, and, and different, you know, so people are not chasing time no more when they DJ, you know, because now they can just loop, 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 you know, but then when you go analog, we don't loop. <laughs> you know, you, the record is a certain time frame and that's, that's the time you have with the record, you know, until you put on another record. And I sort of love that kind of challenge, you know, of chasing the time and of being technical with, with the turntables and yeah, man. And I went through the whole spectrum of being, of even playing um, digital, still do and enjoy it. But I enjoy more the, the kind of mechanics and you know, technicality that goes in with the time and all of that. Like when I'm going to the to to to, to the crate to get a record, thinking what song I'm going to play, and then I have to pitch it. You know, I have to make sure the BPM. I have to beat match. I have to think of the whole set actually how it sounds. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm practically doing something with it because I enjoy doing something with my hands as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that's that's one of the major differences right now between analog DJs and, 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 and digital DJs and to me I'm in the middle of both of that because I'm from a digital uh, a point of view mainly because of the resources you know hence I, I can never position myself 
solely as a vinyl DJ and say I'm a staunch, you know, um, what could I say, purist when it comes to that. Because I know where I come from, you know, a record and two ten tables and a mixer don't come that easy. You know what I mean? So I cannot, I cannot be standing there and judging other people, even myself, for not being able to play strictly records. You know what I mean? I'd like to do that, but then the economics don't allow me. So even in the space when we talk about DJing and what it means to me and other people, well, that's what it means. It means the whole spectrum. Like I can, I can, I can do CDs. I can do USBs. I can do you know, it's your Serratos and, you know, software, you know, not discriminating many, because other people have even posed that question to me, because some people have never seen me uh, doing anything on a computer. Mm. Always when they've seen me, I'm, 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 I'm analog, I'm on records, mm. and they tend to come to me with that, um, <laughs> what can I call it, that, 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 uh, yeah, man, that staunch thing that, that mm. yeah, he's a vinyl guy and they, 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 they come to and approach me with that level thinking that I'm going to level with them at that, mm. le at, le at that end. Mm. But you know, me, I'm different. Like the whole spectrum of DJing, I, 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 I enjoy it because I'm also into beat making. So how can I only be analog when there's so many digital things happening in the process of making the beats themselves, chopping them and all of that. So yeah man, Group X Studios. Group X Studios in a nutshell I can I can phrase it as a as an independent artist hub and a social space, an alternative an alternative social space um, for people who who like the kind of sounds that we we we, we produce here. Like if I say that, just to give an idea of people, what I'm talking about to people when I say sounds, um, Group Back is mostly identified as that group of artists who would normally produce lo-fi, lo-fi music, whether it's dub, whether it's R&B, whether it's hip hop, you know, whereas a lot of stables and other people on other movements out there they identify more with the high file side of life, you know. Whereas Groupback is more open into, you know, art that is made and if the artist believes that what is made in that moment is what should come out, um, without being too clean. That that's how we would take it out. Whereas some in, in some other aspects some other people believe that the raw material must then be made very crisp. You know so that it sounds I don't know what they think it must sound like to the people you know and group back what set us aside from everyone else is that we will give you even when it's a recorded material it's still raw because it was a performance in a certain time and that's how we present ourselves to the people so I'd say yeah group back is an artist hub hub us and and, and, and has artists that produce like that and who give themselves out there to the world in, a, in their most rawest form. Yeah. yeah, we have different legs, we have food, because you know, as street people, you know, there's a certain cuisine that we, 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 we are prone to. And we are learning many things, um, like growing food ourselves, like when you come into Group X Studios, one of the things that you will notice first before you even meet the people behind Group X, even when you're passing, you will see that it's green. Mm -hmm. We grow our own things, we grow our own food, herbs, you know, fruit, because we, we are those kind of people. We, 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 we are about that kind of culture of independence, you know, because, yeah, people would say Group X is an indie stable or, or something like that. To, to put it in an industry words maybe mm -hmm. but yeah man like in, in a nutshell that's who we are man we are about food we are about music um, we are about street education we, we are about knowledge of self and others you know and what we love more about what we do is we don't push too much of individual vibes 
we know already we are born individuals, we live as individuals, we face problems as individuals, but then we also value the, that thing of having a, a tribe, a community around what you are doing, around what you are doing as an individual. So that's, that's the outlet, that's how we, we, we dream of taking out our content as individuals. So group back studios or group back or even taking it back to street culture appreciation is, is the hub, you know, where together we come as individuals and express ourselves to the world. Well, we, we have a, a wide range of, of the arts that we are looking at or art mediums because um, we work mainly with musicians, we work with DJs, we, we work with photographers, with videographers, so because we do a bit of documentary as well, documentary work or even podcast. Mm -hmm. you know, so as a hub, we, we like to develop ourselves in, in that in that wide spectrum so we have yeah. even sculpt, uh, sculptures and painters coming through um, the other time we even hosted one of uh, one of the local painters here uh, for an exhibition yeah. um, um, fusing music and, uh, and, 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 and and craft you know painting um, just to make an example of what we cover we also have fashion hence hosting uh, a local a local store called Kindle Concept Store, Kindle Kingdom Concept Store, so that they can take care of that fashion leg, um, street fashion to be quite urban and street fashion to be quite precise, because that's what we are about, you know. Um, so on the music side, we have artists like Big Bad Black, we have artists like um, High Fences, Berry Bond, uh, myself, DJ World Defect, who would even focus on more of the hip hop. I'd say hip hop is, is the basis of what we are doing, everyone mm. here. Uh, the basis of our crew. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what makes us stick together, what, what brought mm. us together as a, as a movement is mm. hip hop. And then we, we grew into other genres through, through hip hop. Mm. So you will have those, those that I've mentioned before right now who would normally um, have a focus with hip hop mm. or on hip hop so that's the that's the that's the that's the league yeah, hip hop and then you would have Abzu Cadence as a, a, a collective a consisting of myself DJ World Defect Big Bad Black here sitting with me and Ayashuma and and Jabs who's working on the back end of the of the of the of the movement itself yeah Abzu Cadence who together temper into other spaces like your your electronics electronic vibe so you you you, you hear sounds like future sounds future r b sounds you hear sounds like dub you hear post dub or post dubstep and dubstep itself coming from from this collective and also the stable identity group back because that's how we are built we come from different backgrounds as as artists um also r and b itself like because most of us are from that age of the 90s grew growing up with music from the 70s the 80s and the 90s because most of us are from the 80s so we we identify more musically with that you know so we do we do these uh new sounds or these new waves that, of sounds that that keep on emerging from the revolution of each each genre say for hip-hop there's mm. the the evolution led us to trap so we do tap into that space because we evolved as well we evolve as as as, as hip-hop evolves as being part of uh, the culture so we also have clients who come to us with different kind of um say needs if they want a beat, say a quiet or group mm -hmm. back studios does that, you know, we be capable of doing that, we do that. If they want to trap, we do that as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, the spectrum in spe is, 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 um, in terms of music is, is, is covered widely. Well, there's some things we don't tap into, but I won't talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's about what we, 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 we look forward to working with, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and 
like I said, we work fashion, we work with food, we work with different styles and genres in terms of our focus as a hub. <laughs> by groups and individuals who implement it. And in that case, we know that capitalism has failed in the most catastrophic manner. It has been responsible for the most devastating war. First World War, the Second World War. Capitalism has seen the most serious destruction in the 30s, where millions of people lost their jobs. Equally, socialism is going through a turbulent period. Uh, it has collapsed virtually in a number of European countries. It is uh, experiencing some serious problems in the Soviet Union. 
for me as a communist, I see this as temporary payment. Because the basic contradiction of any capitalist society remains exploitation, class domination, poverty, and unemployment. And I believe workers will never accept capitalism as a solution. But I think as communists have got to be honest and realistic and accept that serious mistakes have been made in the course of implementation of socialism. Democracy has been violated. The party generated into a democracy which saw itself as the only force uh, leading society into a new system, if you like. It is not the need to organize mass democratic organizations so that as many people should be involved in, uh, in the fight to improve the, the lives of uh, the workers and other working people. It, uh, it introduces in a lot of cases uh, methods which are better and democratic. Aminai Kamalam Mungizi Kambi Go by the name Big Bad Black Yeah, I work on a year group back, you know, we started group back together You know, Lumzi US too, also known as Usas, DJ World Effect Yeah, and then we started the studio from the ground up You know, all the carpentry was done by us, you know, all the set up, you know, got heavy equipment, you know, together, you know, specific, specifically for what we want to do, you know, that was music at the time, you know, but then as the, as the crew and the people that we met, it became more than just a studio, you know, it became like a place where every other artist, meaning other mediums, you know, like visual arts, you know, fashion, whatever. That's like, it became a space for all of us, you know. So it's more than just a studio. That's what I do, by the way. What I do is produce beats, uh, paint, you know. Yeah, man, I'm just hip hop, you know. That's that's what I do. But then, moreover, we I also help in uh, curate shows, you know, do new sound. For, for shows and stuff, you know, curate uh, fashion shows for fashion uh, peeps here in the world, you know, uh, curate uh, exhibitions for other artists who have exhibitions, like right here in this small space, you know, yeah, in a nutshell, that's what I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm more of a beat maker, you know, I love sampling, you know, beat machines. Records, like vinyl records, I love digging, you know. but yeah. yeah, that's the gist of it. Sure, so I use this small box called uh, an SP44SX, which I'm in love with, you know, like I use everything, I'm an FL studio producer myself whatever Ableton but this box you know that's my that's my heart you know because it enables me to do stuff on the fly you know, so I can actually perform my beats nicer you know with live effects and stuff so yeah you can book me you know you can book me to come and actually play beats at your party or whatever you know I'll actually perform the beats mm -hmm. for the party you know. That's my love. That's my, that's my big heart. For, I have a big heart for beats, you know. Yeah. Right now, right now, this guy is in action.
Thank you, sir.